You know, the advice to people if they're abducted is to engage your abductor and to make yourself a person to them. Gary Michael Hilton, who was born November 22, 1946, known as the National Forest Serial Killer, is an American serial killer responsible for four known homicides between 2007 and 2008. All of his murders occurred within the premises of National Forest, sentenced to death in Florida and to life imprisonment in Georgia and North Carolina. Hilton remains a suspect in several other killings, including that of a woman named Judy Smith. On October 21, 2007, a retired couple of avid hikers living in Horseshoe, North Carolina, John and Irene Bryant, who were 80 and 84, left for a hike through the Pisgah National Forest. They left their parked maroon Ford Escape at the Yellow Gap Road near US Route 276. After not hearing from them for two weeks, family members reported the couple as missing to the Henderson County Sheriff's Office. The Sheriff's Office launched a search for the Bryants, consisting of more than 30 volunteers, cadaver dogs, and a helicopter. Through examining their phone records, it was learned that Irene had attempted to call 911 on the day of her disappearance, but the signal was lost and the call was dropped. On November 10, 2007, the search party located the body of a woman on the Barnett Branch Trail covered with leaves. Suspecting that the body might belong to Irene, they sent it to the state medical examiner's office, Chapel Hill, to perform an autopsy. Three days later, the body was positively identified as that of Irene who had been bludgeoned to death with a blunt instrument. As this was now considered a homicide perpetrated on federal land, the FBI launched an investigation with an award of $10,000 to whoever could provide information leading to the killer. Simultaneously, it was revealed that a bank card belonging to the Bryants had been used to withdraw $300 from an ATM in Ducktown, Tennessee, with the surveillance cameras showing an older Caucasian man wearing a yellow brain jacket, whose hood was obscuring his face. By this time, John was still considered a missing person, possibly abducted by whoever had killed his wife. On February 3, 2008, Mark Wadrop, a hunter, accidentally discovered a skull in Nantahala National Forest, just off the Forest Service Road known as the Switchbacks. After calling the local deputy for assistance, the duo investigated the scene. Upon closer inspection, a pelvis and spine were located about 20 yards from the skull. Since there was no clothing or identification near the remains, the bones were sent to the medical examiner in Chapel Hill to identify the body. After two days, it was positively identified as that of John Bryant. On December 3, 2007, 46-year-old Cheryl Dunlap, a resident of Crawfordville, Florida, did not appear for her job at the Florida State University in Tallahassee, where she worked as a nurse. Considering this behavior to be unusual, her colleagues reported her missing on the following day after her abandoned car, a white Toyota Camry, was located north of the county line. Approximately five days later, a search party of around 180 people was organized to help locate her, and despite initially being unable to find anything, the members still hoped that they would locate Dunlap alive. On December 16, 2007, Ronnie Rent, a hunter who was passing through the woods in the Apalachicola National Forest with his dogs, discovered the decapitated, decomposing body of a woman, immediately reporting the finding to the state authorities. As they were initially unsure whether the body was Dunlap's, it was sent to the medical examiner, who confirmed that it was indeed hers via DNA profiling. Classifying her death as a homicide, authorities announced that they were looking for a suspicious green truck seen in the area around the time Dunlap disappeared, driven by a man who had used her ATM card five times in Tallahassee, withdrawing $700 from her account. Over the next few days, numerous tips were submitted to the police, some of which were about a strange homeless man with a dog who was driving a green 2001 Chevrolet Astro van, but this lead did not lead to an arrest. Around this time, rumors began circulating that a serial offender was operating between Georgia and Florida. Still, at the time, the Leon County Sheriff's Office stated that they were investigating the case as an isolated homicide. On New Year's Day of 2008, 24-year-old sales manager Meredith Hope Emerson decided to go for a hike along the Freeman Trail on Blood Mountain in Vogel State Park. 
She was accompanied by her dog, Ella, and according to several witnesses, they had observed a mysterious older man with his dog following her. On January 3, 2008, authorities located her 1995 Chevrolet Cavalier where they found various items such as her water bottle, a dog leash, and a police baton. That day, further investigation into the man seen following Emerson revealed that he was 61-year-old Gary Hilton, a local drifter known for his strange behavior and vicious temper. He often walked his dog Dandy along the trail. Since the revelation, he was announced as a person of interest in the case, with police requesting that they officially interrogate him about the case. A day after this announcement, Emerson's dog Ella was found wandering at a Kroger parking lot and returned to her family members. On January 5, 2008, authorities located numerous items belonging to Emerson inside a dumpster near a Quick Trick parking lot in Cumming, Georgia. There, they found her bloodied clothing, wallet, a driver's license, a University of Georgia ID card, and a blunt state car seat belt. Apart from the three homicide cases mentioned, Hilton has been investigated and remains a suspect in the following unsolved murders. On September 7, 1997, several human bones and personal items were found in Pisgah National Forest, scattered near a campground. A body was eventually identified as hiker Judy Smith, who was last seen in Philadelphia five months earlier. While it has been suggested that Hilton might have murdered her, no supporting evidence for this has been found. Rosanna Miliani, a hiker from Miami, Florida, was last seen in the company of an older white man in his 60s, buying backpacks from a convenience store in Bryson City, North Carolina in 2005. Following Hilton's arrest, the store clerk contacted the authorities to note the similarities between her case and that of Meredith Emerson. Michael Scott Lewis, a South Daytona resident who went missing on November 21, 2007. A few weeks later, his dismembered remains were found by a fisherman in Ormond Beach, packed in black bags which had been dumped into the Tomoka River. The remains were not immediately connected to Lewis, with identification occurring several days later by a lab in California. His head was never located. Authorities have stated that while Hilton remains a suspect in the murder and was in the area at the time, he is not the sole one. Lewis's then-girlfriend, Nelsie Tetley, who was later arrested and due to stand trial for the 2017 murder and dismemberment of boyfriend Jeffrey Albertsman, is also considered a viable suspect in the case. 